Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am a Saint Beauty artist and a savvy brand partner, but you clicked on this video because you're interested about Mary Kay. So to give you a quick backstory, I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. I was a consultant for a couple months and the real reason why I stopped was my I wasn't passionate about the products. There are some products that they have that are absolutely amazing, which I'm gonna show you my top five. That is the point of this video. But I realized that I wasn't passionate about it and that's when I switched over to Saint because I was actually passionate about the products. I felt like when I talked about them, I wasn't selling anything, yada, yada, yada. So I am an ex-beauty consultant or Mary Kay consultant. I have tried out almost every single one of their products and here are the top five that I currently use in my skincare regimen. Regimen I plan to continue using in my skin regimen. I highly recommend them. And these are products that I repurchased as well. So let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm gonna do it in order by like my top 100, like I would cry if this product was no longer available, hands down the best thing. And I do have to say it is the Mary Kay liquid eyeshadow, which is a little weird, but I have tried out a variety of different eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows, that sort of thing. And this one hands down is the best one that I've ever tried. This is in the color pink starlight, starlit, starlight. Um, it is an absolutely beautiful pinky kind of goldy mauvey kind of color. It is a color that is absolutely going to be gorgeous on any skin tone, any skin color that you have, any eye color that you have, this product is going to work for you. And the best thing, what I like about it is not only the color, the color is amazing, but it's the formula. It goes on so beautifully. It, it, it doesn't crease. It stays all day. It has that power and I love it. I'm not, of course, I'm not wearing it today because that will require coordination on my part and that's not, that's not me right now in my life. But I absolutely love it. I've done videos about it. I did, I will link down a video showing the, I think there's four different colors. So swatches on those and stuff like that. So I'll link that down below, but I absolutely love it. The application is beautiful. I do like applying it with this brush right here. This is the Mary Kay eye blending brush. This is fabulous. These two together are an absolute must but this one, hands down, my favorite Mary Kay product and one that I will continue to purchase forever and ever and ever. The second product, in order of like absolutely ha must have, is the Mary Kay TimeWise Repair Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. So this is the product that actually jumped me into being consultant. I had an ex coworker who invited me to a, a virtual Facebook party. I got sent samples and this is one of the samples that was given. I did my face with the lady who was doing, the director who was doing the Facebook live session. And I was amazed at how immediately my skin felt like a baby's butt. It was instant. I kept it on my skin. It did not burn. It did not. It tingled a little bit, but there was no burning. There was absolutely no irritation, and I do have sensitive skin. I woke up the next morning, and I was like, oh my gosh, this product is amazing. And I decided to become an American consultant, really to get the discount, and then it just spiraled out of that. Um, but absolutely love this. I recommend it because it is a chemical exfoliant, which means you're not going to over exfoliate. Now, if you do it, I think it recommends... It says, uh, allow 10 minutes, then rinse well with warm water. You may experience a slight tingling sensation, which is normal. For best results, use twice weekly on non-consecutive evenings. I use it once a week. Um, and that's just because I usually can't remember to use it more than that. Sometimes I forget, but if you use it consistently, it will dramatically, it will dramatically improve your skin. You will see results after using this. But if you use it, for that one to two times a week, you're not going to over exfoliate. What I found was I have very dry skin, I have dry flakes. And so I was taking physical exfoliators and I was exfoliating and I was ending up like almost burning my skin. Afterwards, my skin would burn when I would put different products on and it was because I over exfoliated and I tore up my skin. And so what I like about this is when I put on the other products, there's no burning. 
There's no like over exfoliating feeling. It exfoliates, especially with those dry flakes and I really, really like it, highly recommend. The third product that I, top three, definitely would recommend is the Mary Kay Moisture Renewing Gel Mask. So these together are absolutely amazing. I exfoliate and then I put this on, I will leave it on for 10 minutes. You can use this one overnight. Um, and I do sometimes, especially in the winter time, it does give like a nice barrier, especially when it's cold, I still sleep with the fan on and you have that cold air kind of whipping. This will kind of create a barrier over, you know, over your skin. So when I wake up in the morning, I still feel it a little bit on my skin. Um, you can do the same thing with Aquaphor as well, but this one I feel like actually gets into my skin a little bit better. But I use this as a mask. Highly, highly recommend it. I actually go on to Mary Kay's website because as a consultant, I can buy samples and I get the little sample package and I use those for traveling because they're perfect because they're, you know, they won't leak anywhere or whatever, but I will use this, especially when we go to Vegas and my skin is so dry when we go to Vegas, I will use this every single night and just slather it all on and sleep with it and it does improve significantly. The next product that I, the fourth product is the Mary Kay Micellar Water. So they came out with this when I became a consultant. You can see here, I am almost done using it. To me, this is different than the other micellar waters that I tried because I don't feel like it strips my skin. I feel like it does a really, really good job with the double cleansing. I will go in first and clean my skin. Right now I'm using the First Aid Beauty Cleansing Oil. I'll go in, cleanse it off, and then I'll go with this uh, on a cotton pad and I will remove the rest of it. And it's amazing how much additional makeup it gets off that you didn't pick up with the first cleansing. So I do use this as a double cleansing when I'm lazy and I don't wanna do my full like skincare routine, I will use this as my main cleanser and just take a cotton ball or whatever. It's better than nothing and it takes two seconds. I like, really, really like this also because it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't strip my skin. I don't feel like that tight feeling. Because I have dry skin, I have to be very, very careful because anything will dry out my skin. And I like this because I use it and I still feel a little bit of, I don't wanna say oil, I still feel a little bit of the product on my skin, which for me feels nice because I don't get that tightening effect. It, it feels a little bit moisturized, so it's awesome for dry skin. Last but not least, the top five product is the Mary Kay Oil-Free Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. You can see here, it looks like it, what the hell? I'm like, it looks like, you can't see it, but it looks like it has oil in it, but it's actually, I don't even know what it is. It is this micro something that actually breaks up your makeup. So it does take off waterproof makeup amazingly, um, but it doesn't use that, leave that oily residue. I used to use oil makeup removers that had the oil in it um, because I do a lot of times use waterproof makeup on the bottom lashes of my eyes because I feel like it helps with transferring but it was always a pain to get it off with regular makeup removers. So I would use oily makeup removers and then I would have like a haze on my eyes for like an hour where it was like everything was just hazy and gloomy and nasty looking and I didn't like that. I didn't like that feeling. It felt amazing around my eyes, but in my eyes I just felt like that haze was there and I didn't like it. This does not give you a haze. This will take off your waterproof makeup and not leave that haze and it will leave a little bit of that hydration around. I just really, really like it. Um, there's 10,000 other makeup removers on the market, but I find like this one does the best as far as removing the waterproof and not leaving that haze. So that's it. That is my top five Mary Kay products, the ones that I cannot live without, the ones that I consistently repurchase, and the ones that I would recommend for every single person. And this is coming from somebody who no longer makes money on Mary Kay. Actually, I didn't really make that much money on Mary Kay, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, and that wasn't because of Mary Kay, it was just because of my own thing. But um, these are products that I recommend because I truly believe that they work. I'm not making money off of it, I just truly, feel like these products are amazing and they will help every single person. So please let me know below, what are your top five Mary Kay products? What are, do you like these or are there other ones that you like more than these? Like if you, if they were dis do, if they were to discontinue a Mary Kay product tomorrow, what would that product be and how upset would you be about it? So leave that below so that other viewers know. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. Until next time, bye.